this is Mr. Lance and I'm going to um, provide this video uh, because I feel it uh, is pretty important um, based on some of the emails that I've uh, received uh, from some students and um, I'm just going to walk you through uh, how to send an email from Blackboard and it's not necessarily how to click on things and you know how to send an email specifically it's more of how to write your email um, just uh, something that I think is important and it will help you in a lot of other ways um, this is a college success class um, so that I'm looking at here um, this might be your CRN if you're in this semester uh, particular semester so um, it doesn't matter though I'm logged in kind of in a student preview mode um, and I'm just going to show you a couple of things so if I if you are a student and you want to email me um, you know that's the ones I'm going to see so that's the ones I'm concerned about uh, right now um, you would just go on your home page to send email and then you know you probably go through here um, and you know this is might be kind of what it looks like for you um, <clears throat> you know if you want to send an email to select uh, users or the instructor users or whatever um, you would click that appro you know, appropriate tab like if you click all instructor users it's just me um, so that'll come up then um, you're getting ready to send an email um, and so you'll see it says here preview user it would say your um, you know your name and your email address right there probably um, so I want to send this to Brent Lance um, and uh, I would like for you to put a you know a couple things in your subject line the first being um, what your CRN is um, you know so you might put well you might put um, college 1000 and then uh, you put CRN and this one is 20299 and then after that I'd like you to put what, what it is you know maybe um, you know question about journals um, so put a subject line in there okay and then um, after you do that when you start the body of your email and this is pretty much why I'm making this video um, I'm you know get emails and it'll just have it won't have anything there it just says one line it says I don't know how to access my work uh, and that's all it says and there's no greeting there's no signature there's no signature or anything um, it just says I don't know how to do this or I don't know how to do that so um, that's not a proper way to send an email what to put in the body of the email so uh, the first thing just for your practice and your success um, you should start out with a greeting so you know you know mr. Lance you know so start out with you know addressing who you're talking to um, you know you would not you're not texting me I don't know who you are I have bazillions of students so um, you know you know so at least start out with a greeting and then type your question you know um, you know you know are the section to uh, journals available yet you know something like that you know you ask a question whatever your question is and I want you to ask questions that's really something I want you to do if you have questions I want you to ask them um, also just for your own practice I think you should um, you know uh, use appropriate uh, grammar and punctuation stuff like that that way um, you know it looks like you put a little bit of thought in your email 
Um, so, you know, that way, you know, you don't come across as, uh, you know, someone who took, you know, 15 seconds to write an email and not even think about what you're typing. Um, and I know we make email mistakes sometimes, but I'm trying to, you know, get you to think about it and, you know, get a, you know, better imp impression of yourself across as you do that. So, you know, type your question, be as thorough as you need to be. Um, you know, you know, maybe there's a reason for asking the question, you know, I have some extra time today and I would like to work on my journals. Um, so then, you know, <coughs> you know, that you, you know, there's, you know, you're not, you're just asking a question and you're explaining why you're asking the question. Um, you know, and then when you're done writing whatever you're going to write, uh, you put some kind of closing. You know, it could be thank you, um, you know, sincerely, what, whatever, but add a closing, you know, to your email. You know, um, and then put your name. Okay, um, that way, you know you're showing uh, that you took the time to sign your email. Basically, um, <coughs> you know. So let's just review that one more time. Um, you know, you click on the instructors. It's going to come up as me. Um, it'll say your email will be right here. Um, put your class, because I have several classes. Um, put your CRN, because I have multiple CRNs, you know, sections of college success. So this right away lets me look and see who, you know, what section you're in. If you have a question about your grade, I can go right to it. I don't have to go and decipher from your email. Um, stuff, even though it might put that on there for me, um, this clearly states, you know, right here. Um, another thing that you might do, uh, just to make sure, uh, is put your CRN after your signature. Um, you know, you know, just to make, sh you know, down at the bottom, you know, I just wrote that in, so you can right away. It's like saying, I'm in this section. I'm in this section. Uh, you know, that way I can get an idea really quickly of if I need to check something for you, um, where I need to look. Um, I don't need to know your student ID number or anything like that. Um, if I ever do, I'll look it up. Um, if I know what CRN that you're in, I can figure that out. But, you know, you don't have to put your student ID number on your email. Um, so you know you don't have to give that kind of information on a on a document that could become public if it doesn't you know it doesn't that number doesn't need to be on there um, you know so just make sure that you take the time to properly format your email um, <coughs> you know that way there's you get the best possible uh, impression across to who to whomever it is that you're emailing, not just me as an instructor, but anyone. Um, it's not a text message. You know, I don't want to see your um, abbreviations because I may not know what they mean. Um, uh, you know, it doesn't get your point across as well. Uh, I do know what LOL means, um, but, you know, outside of that, we're, you know, it would get sketchy. So, you know, just make sure that you send proper emails. That'll just make it that much better for you. Um, and then, you know, of course, make sure that you, when you're done, you know, there's a send button down at the bottom. Uh, you know, you click send. I'm going to send myself an email, I guess, from myself. Um, <coughs> so just take your time and do that right. And, you know, it will help you so very much. In fact, um, just the fact that you watch this uh, video um, you're going to uh, have a quiz on it. And the answer to the quiz, uh, it's a one-word answer, and you'll get it, it when you get to the end of this video. Here it is.
the answer to the quiz question is going to be unicorn. That's the answer to the quiz question. There'll be one question, fill in the blank quiz, and you'll get 100 points for it. And the answer is unicorn.